Okay, an update from yesterday, and we started with our airlift air compressor shield. And uh, today I finished up the relief holes that we talked about in the other video. And I got my holes drilled. And also, I took the liberty of putting in my stitches down here. Where I just basically you bend over the the sharp edges. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to show you a little video of how we did those stitches, and how we'll do a big one with this test piece over here. So basically, this is our airlift pump. That's the old one we're using as a template. And here's our template. And that is the basically it. There's four bends. And a couple of stitches we decided to add in there as well. <clears throat> but it's your basic sheet metal work. It's as basic as it gets. That's why they call it a box or pan break. So you're making pans or boxes. And that's basically what that was designed for. Uh, these machines were... Tools are just basic. This, these basic ones are just really for sheet metal work. And a lot of this sheet metal work was originally started in the heating and air conditioning. Uh, good example is if you look up there, see that big metal box up there? That big tube's coming out? That's made with a box pan brake. It's just sheet metal. And uh, they use this type of tools for it. But for us, we're just making a cover for a shield for this, this pump. So we'll do a fit test. I think I can do it with one hand here. We'll try it. <coughs> Let's see, I'm trying to make you all dizzy here. <clears throat> so this is gonna lay in here like this. And you can do a, a fit with this. I took a couple of bolts just to make sure it's gonna fit when I get out there to this thing. This truck is up, this, up the road here on a ranch. And I had a gentleman come down here to put it in and he went back it's pretty muddy and wet up here in the big city so i'll put this in here and open it over here let's get this thing lined up okay that's just a little bit of a fit so that's what it looks like on the back of course these won't here i just have those in here to fit it and this is gonna bolt up to the frame. It looks kind of like that. So this is anything super spectacular. This thing fits in here pretty good. I just gotta move it up a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna do much more. I was gonna put a a, a piece over this. Decide not to. Doesn't really need it. Um, just means a little bit more work. Don't really need it. Basically, we're trying to keep debris from slamming up against this side of this intake side of this thing. And the intake and output uh, ports over there. And it's already mounted the other way, so I couldn't turn it. So I just spilled a heat shield for it. Or not heat shield, but a uh, dirt shield. And so I'll just kind of give you an idea. So what I am going to do for this guy, I'm going to... We are going to put a nice finish on it. I'm going to use some really good quality primer. And I'm going to use a chrome paint, believe it or not. Don't laugh, but I'm going to use a really good quality chrome paint. Some of this new paint out here is pretty good. It has an epoxy in it. And it should withstand rock chips and everything else pretty good. So this is basically what we ended up with. So this is this, is this pattern. Right here. Pretty basic stuff, guys. Put your phones down and go build something. Uh, Pretty therapeutic to get out here and start building things and I haven't watched TV I think probably in about three or four months now and I don't carry my phone with me much except for when I'm working and that's about it I'm either out here or I'm drawing up something I'm working on some curriculum development for work but that's about all I'm doing is just working on projects and you can see with <clears throat> the boat Pattern still not done yet. I need to do that today. And 
Uh, just been working on some odds and ends. I finally got the big light hooked up. The big AC Delco light. The ballast that was in there is no longer available, so I took two long LED strips and put in. It works pretty good. But other than that, it's just uh, getting things ready for finishing up this boat and working on some seats. And we're going to go and show you guys on that too. So, so here's the sheet shield. I'm going to show you how we're going to finish it off for this gentleman. And maybe I'll jump over and show you how to do these little stitches really, really quick here in a bit.